I wanted to run through how I set and track my goals within Reflect because I'm fairly neurotic about my goal tracking. And I think that this system works as a pretty good template for anyone who wants to get started being a little more diligent about their goal tracking, but also doesn't want any crazy complex system. So how my system works is starting with the annual goals, those cascade down to the monthly goals and those cascade down to the weekly goals. So the idea is that if you put the correct amount of thought and effort into this, you do a lot of reflecting on some key annual goals. And then when you're setting your monthly goals, you look at those to determine what will be the most impactful thing to do in that month for the goal. And the same thing for the weekly goals going up to the monthly. And there's a couple different ways to format this. So how I typically like to do mine is I have different categories. So here I've sort of oversimplified it, but I think for the, this demo, that's probably appropriate. So I have my work, personal and health goal here. So maybe work, I want to reach profitability with business personal, maybe I want to buy a house within an hour of a ski resort and health. Maybe I want to run my first marathon. Now, alternatively, you could have different sheets of this. So I could have uh, work or professional 2023 goals. And then I have three goals specifically within my work or my business. And then I have a different page for personal and health, or maybe I only want to do one category. But for the sake of this example, I'm going to simplify it and just include one from each category in these. All right, so these are the annual goals. So let's go down to monthly. So here I work this out going down, starting from January, going all the way down to December. I like to order it this way because it helps me see how far into the month I am. So here you can see it's pretty easy to see that I'm in April because that's what's expanded. And even in, when it's collapsed, you can tell that the last month that there is contact in. And then once I get to May, I will include that as well. So a monthly goal. Again, I can look back up to my annual goal. So work, I want to reach profitability with a business and to reach profitability, we're going to need a regular growth channel. So I'm going to say, start publishing weekly content on the blog to turn it into a channel for personal. If I want to buy a house, maybe I want to increase the savings I put out each month for a house down payment by let's say 20% probably isn't enough nowadays, but uh, this is all kind of hypothetical. And for health, if I want to run my first marathon, maybe I'm going to start by just running three miles without stopping, which is actually something I'm not sure I could do right now. And then, you know, once you go through those, you can go down to weekly. I'm going to keep that expanded because same thing when I'm in my weekly, I want to look back up there to check. And you can see for weekly that I've reversed the order. So I have the most recent week at the top. That's just because that there's so many weeks in a year that I find that gets really messy doing it the opposite way as I did the months. And again, there's so many weeks, it, it's not really that helpful for seeing where you are in the year. That's what I think the monthly view is helpful for. So anyway, going into the week then work, if my goal for the month is start publishing weekly content on the blog, turn into a channel, maybe it's publishing the first one and then writing a draft for the second week. For personal, if I'm trying to save more money, maybe I want to go through my credit card statement and find additional areas to cut as the step for this week. And if I'm trying to get to running three miles without stopping, but I can't do that yet, maybe my easier starting step is just run for four out of seven days of the week, no matter how long I run for it, just getting in the habit of it. And now I don't go down to daily. I do my daily goals within my daily notes page. But I do kind of save my notes page on the pinned notes here so that when I am making my daily goals, I can call specifically on my weekly goals to do what I want. Typically, I'll do my weekly goals on Sunday night. I feel like that's a fun ritual activity. And I have reminders set at the end of the month and into the years to do each of the annual and monthly. And you can see here with the past ones, you know, I be able to go through just like the others and check them off. And you can keep the recent section expanded here so that it's easy to see and tap into whatever you want. 